Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Crafts and More. I'm Katrina. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Um, take a look at this video and some of my other videos. And if you see something that inspires you, then go ahead and subscribe. Before you go, don't forget to hit the like button for this video. All right, for those who are returning, welcome back. I really do appreciate you hanging out with me for a bit. It really means a lot to me. So today is a little bit different video that I am uploading. And as I talk, you will understand why. I am gonna to talk to you a little bit about what I do in my day job. And the reason I'm doing that is because I just want to be able to provide some information to you guys that I feel is really really important. My first question to you is this. If you had an opportunity to help someone that you know would have a huge, huge impact on them in a positive way, would you hold back that information or would you tell them? Would you do everything you could or would you just kind of hold back and reserve? That's a dilemma that some of us have, and it's really been weighing on me, so I decided that I would just create this video to talk with you guys, and hopefully you will understand how much I really, really care and why I'm putting this video out. It has been a whole entire year that many of us have dealt with this virus that has gone global. And um, we've had a lot of information that's gone on about it. Some good information, some bad information. Not everybody is handling it in the same way or responding to it in the same way. I'm sure that many of you guys have had friends or family members who have come down with COVID-19 and some of them maybe didn't make it. I have as well. And for me, the work that I do, I come into contact it more often than I would like. So I am what you call in the category of 1A. So I'm a frontline worker and I'm a pediatrician. And that means that I take care of patients anywhere from newborns all the way through adulthood. And um, with that, we have had to test and tell people that they do have COVID, as well as give recommendations on how to hopefully prevent it from spreading throughout their household or their friends, and um, hopefully help prevent anyone from having serious illness. Right now, there are vaccines that are available and we have two that are available here in the United States. One that's made by um, Pfizer and another one called Moderna. Both of those vaccines are what we call messenger RNA vaccines. And what that means is they present a sequence of messenger RNA in the vaccine and it tells your body to make a protein. Once your body makes this protein, your body recognizes it as not your own protein and your immune system kicks in to try to help fight off and get rid of the protein. In the process, the messenger RNA is destroyed and once your body makes antibodies to help fight off the protein, the protein itself gets destroyed. Those are all good things because it would be better for your body and immune system to kick in and destroy a protein rather than to get the actual virus and then have to determine whether your body can help to fight that off. Now, what I will say is I understand that people might be concerned 
or people might be hesitant to take the vaccine. I get it. However, I'm practicing what I preach. So what I'm gonna do is just show you a picture of what occurred yesterday. So yeah, that's right. Yesterday I went and got my vaccine and I'm very happy to do so and happy to share that with you guys. And I sincerely hope that it helps you guys to see that it's okay. I want everybody to be healthy and I don't want any of you guys to experience the loss of a loved one, nor do I want you to have to endure being ill with this virus because it's really bad, okay? We don't know who's gonna have a mild case and we don't know who's gonna have a really serious case. And for that reason, the best thing that we can do is to arm ourselves. I'm trying really hard right now not to be emotional, but I just want you to know that I care. I am not trying to practice medicine on the internet, but what I am trying to do is at least convey information to you so that hopefully you won't get sick. Now, it's gonna be a while before everyone gets vaccinated. And what we're hoping is that we can get at least 85% of the population vaccinated. If we can do that, I think we'll be able to prevent the spread and we'll be able to kind of blunt and squash the virus. But that takes a lot of cooperation. Whew, okay. It takes a lot of cooperation. And what I mean by that is for right now, the things that we can do, we can all do is wear our masks if we have to go out or interact with people that are not in our household. Wash our hands frequently. Use soap and water. Use hand sanitizer where water sources are not available. Use social distancing. Minimum six feet. It's really important, guys. And you know what? I know some people say it's a hoax. It's not a hoax, it's real, all right? Um, do what you can to take good care of yourself. Eat a healthy diet, get plenty of rest, drink plenty of water, because all of those things are important. When it's your turn to get vaccinated, take a serious consideration make sure that you're getting good information, all right? There's information out there that you can get, but make sure you're getting it from good sources, all right? Because the best information empowers you. It makes you stronger so that you can make an informed decision, okay? I want each and every one of you guys to be happy and to be in good health. And the only way we can do that is if we spread information based on what we know and understand so that we can help you guys as you make your decision. I hope this is helpful. If any of you guys have questions in general, I'm happy to try to help. Um, if you like this video and you find it helpful, please hit the like button. That way I will know if I am making a difference or not. I took an oath when I graduated and that oath was to do no harm. So I hope this is helpful. I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye-bye.